I'm here with a different video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to speed up your Xbox One and how you can do an upgrade on these models. This one is an Xbox One S. The particular model on this one, it's uh, 1681. And this applies for any of Xbox One S versions. So what do you wanna do? Because in order, if you wanna get your game loaded up fast or response time fast or do any major upgrades or to boot up faster, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna replace the mechanical hard drive that come in here with an SSD hard drive. The first thing you wanna do, you wanna purchase yourself a regular SSD hard drive. This is a SATA 2.5 inch solid state drive. I'll leave the link in the description. You can buy one terabyte, 600, I mean 500 gigs or whatever uh, amount would you like. You can just purchase them. They're all the same profile, so don't worry about what kind of brand or anything as long as it's a 2.5 inch solid state drive. It can be a SATA 3, that'll be fine. So grab your SSD drive and your console, you have to power up, disconnect all the connectors. And to open it up, it's simple. You wanna grab it in this position, or let's start from the back. In the back side, you're gonna see a warranty label right here. You don't need to remove this one. All you need to do to get yourself an opening tool, I use this one, it's a really tough metal, or you can use a flathead screwdriver, but make sure it's really flat and not too sharp and neither too thick. What do you wanna do? You wanna stick it right under the plastic and you wanna just do a little bit of lift up just like that. You wanna do it every five centimeters. You wanna hear some clicks happening. And do this side, there, there, there. I'm doing it just all around. There. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And I can't see the camera in my face. There's one, and two, three, four. Once we got those in, we wanna do the same thing for the front side. All right, now there's only one tiny one that is holding it on this corner. Let me see if I can get that loose. There you go. Now you're gonna put it face down and you can just go ahead and lift up the bottom cover. This is the bottom chassis or bottom tray. Put the one side. And next here, we're gonna remove all those uh, greeny screws. I don't know if you, you might have a different color, but mine are labeled with an, an alphabet F, F1, F2, F3. Because I believe there's a six of them, so there's an F6. Remove all those. I'm gonna use my iFixit tool set, and we're gonna be using bit number TR10. Is that Torx number 10? So let's go ahead and remove all those green long screws. And that's it. Now that we remove all those six screws, we're gonna put it to one side. And one thing we need to remove, it will be, I believe, C4, B4, and C3. This side is the hard drive side. If I don't, yeah. So we're gonna remove C4, which is this one right here. We're gonna remove the B2, and we're gonna remove the C3. Oh, and I forgot this green one in the middle. So all the green has to go out. So remove the C3, C4, and B2. And now you wanna put it face down, normal position. What do you wanna do? You wanna grab it from this corner, from the plastic end right here. You wanna put your hand in there, and you wanna open this, push this plastic apart, just like that. You wanna do it on both sides. So do it 
just like this i'm holding it and i'm just gonna open it up open this plastic and open it up and it's just gonna fall out the front the bottom is just gonna fall and move it forward and just pull it up that's the bottom co top cover and this metal cover is just gonna come out just lift it up there's your top cover the metal now the, these three screws that we removed here is uh, holding the hard drive in there so what we're gonna do we're gonna grab the hard drive it's already loosened up and what do we want to do we can go ahead and uh, disconnect the cable power cable just pull it up and this say that cable don't pull it up you have to pull it up evenly so don't yank on this thing pull it up hold it from nicely and just pull it up evenly because this thing has to slide upward if you grab it from this side you're gonna bend it and you're gonna bend the connectors so somehow try to support it from here and pull it up that's the SATA cable now that we have the hard drive in here we have the other SSD drive ready what do you want to do you want to remove only the tiny screws one two three four we're not going to remove this shock absorbent uh, screws so remove the screw right over there the screw right over here Is that one over there and this one over here so once you remove those ones right there the hard drive is just gonna come out just pull it up from this side because the adapter has there's a two hooks in here go right there so keep it in this, the same position bring it up hold it like this disconnect the adapter now you see it was in this position so grab the new hard drive the SATA put it in the same position Put the connectors bring it back over align it and put the four screws that you removed that way you have the new hard drive in here and you can place the new hard drive right there so let's go ahead and put the, the screws right here so grab this one and i'll leave the link in the description how you can uh, load the new dashboard and update because the new hard drive doesn't have any system in it so you have to load up the system you're gonna be needing a usb empty usb thumb drive so get yourself an 8 gig minimum uh, usb drive and i'll leave the link in the description where you can just go there and follow step by step how to download it and how to install the system back on this is going to speed up a lot your system so put the ssd drive right there the connector grab this uh, power view cable put it in there it, it won't go the other way in it just goes in one way there now you want to grab it put it over align it make sure it goes up sits nicely once it's in there now once you want to flip it over if you don't hold it in place it's just going to fall off so hold it with your hand don't let it go keep it firmly in place while i'm holding it right there Towards the back, I'm gonna grab one screw. I'm gonna place it on C3, or it doesn't matter whichever. I'll go with the C3, it's, it's right here. So, as when you put the first screw, then you can just let go. It's not gonna fall off, so it stays in there. Now, you can go ahead and put the other, the B2 and C4 screw right in place. Now, there we have it. So now, the hard drive is in place and it's not going anywhere so what do you want to do now next grab the top cover you want to put the front end no before we put that i forgot i'm sorry we gotta put the metal cover right on top put the metal cover on top and you're gonna see this side is kind of not going bouncing up because of the tiny cushion that they have in there so what do you want to do you want to open it up pull this cushion to one side and bring the cover back down and then let go this is anti-static cushion, so it's just grounding the front board. So once you have it in this position, now you want to grab the bottom top cover, slide it down all the way in, like that, and then you want to bring it over all the way back. Make sure the back is aligned, just like that. Align the middle. Once the mid back is aligned, 
it's in its place you want to make sure this side goes in there if this side is not in place just like this one over here let me see how can i show you guys just like this if it's not in place what you want to do you want to open up this side like that and then once you open it up it's push this one down and it goes in place same thing in here but this one is already falling in place if it was not in place let's take it out of the place if it was not in place just lift it up and it will go in because there's a tiny hinge in there it has to go right into this hinge all right now once we got it in place we're gonna put all the green screws so grab the green long screws place it in play in every hole and remember there is one tiny there's a hole here that is not worth putting anything there because it won't even go it's not even labeled so don't worry about that one put all the uh, missing one right there and now lock it in again guys if you guys have any questions you know where to leave them i'll try to answer them as soon as i can i really appreciate it if you guys subscribe it really helps and motivates me to make more videos or help you guys out so let's go ahead and screw all the screws there we go now we have all this in here the last step is to put the bottom tray to grab the bottom tray make sure the sync button that is in front it goes right in front of the console place it right on top align it right on top and what you want to do you want to just push the corners down to go the sides make sure you go all around you're going to hear those clicks that's all you need to hear and that's it i hope you guys like this video if you guys like it click that thumbs up button and again i appreciate it and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching